Hello, how are you? This is Cameron A. Bailey Sr. Today, what come to mind I'd like to discuss is uh, agree to disagree. It was uh, what brought it to mind today was that I seen on my Facebook page that a question that um, Judge Lynn Toler from Divorce Court uh, put on there. I don't actually remember the question. Um, but in my, I, I did reply to the question um, in a comment. Well, what comes to mind is agree to disagree. There's two things that immediately come to mind. Uh, in my previous video on plan being married, if a person doesn't, or pe if uh, a couple does not have a plan for actually being married, or that they do not know how to uh, come together or unite under marriage and, and being one, then it makes it makes the situation even worse when you're talking about agreeing to disagree. The second thing is that it the idea or the concept of a, agreeing to disagree is a myth. It is a it's deception. The reason I say that is because this is when two people say they agree to disagree. What they are saying is that in this particular instance, on this particular point, on this particular issue, that they are agreeing to be separated. Yes agreeing to be separated the more the num the more number of times that a couple agree to disagree then the more they become separated it is like pull it's like you know you like the loose thread from two pieces of cloth that's been sewn together and you and you pull and you pull that thread well each stitch each time is pulling each stitch that comes loose then those two pieces of cloth that were joined by that thread become separated and that is what agreeing to disagree really means unfortunately uh, in our society, we th there are some other myths that we ha we have to deal with. Um, there's the there's the idea, the the image, uh, the dream of marriage, but not having the understanding of the principles or the constructs of what's involved in actually uniting two people as one. So without this understanding, what actually what um what happens is that we hope to become united, and um, wow, I just lost. We hope to be we hope to become united, and without having the understanding, we slowly lose hope and it ends up being two individuals cohabitating under the covenant or concept of idea or con legal contract of marriage and it strains the relationship because you deal because what ends up happening is the idea of two being one is stressed. Your idea of marriage becomes stressed under the under stress because in reality you're living under the constructs of individuality or individualism. In many, 
And so then you have the emotional, mental, financial, all being handled as individuals. And you know what? Even the even, when it comes to the satisfaction, the physical satisfaction, that is still individual in the yeah, individualistic. Because there's no understanding of how to be one, how to unite, how to actually unite as one physically, emotionally, financially, mentally. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned the puzzle theory. The, it also makes it possible or impossible to be able to appreciate the differences of one another. So you in, there's increased possibility in, of interactions being in opposition to one another as when you're cohabitating under the contract of marriage as individuals. Well, I just wanted to give this brief information on agreeing to disagree in marriage. If you enjoyed this video and you're more interested in seeing about what to do and uh, what's involved in being one, or living as one in marriage, go to the Facebook page, Marriage matters the number two me that's marriage matters to me www.facebook.com forward slash marriage matters to me for each person that joins the email list of marriage matters to me on the facebook page there you will receive a free gift uh free hotel accommodation of three days and two nights at over 90 locations as my free gift to you for joining the email list Thank you and have a most wonderful day.